Hey, what's going on? I'm Dr. Leila Hariri, a family and cosmetic dentist for more than 22 years. And you're listening to Ask Dr. Leila. Anything you need to know about dentistry, we're going to talk about teeth, prevention, oral health, and tons more. So relax, listen, and smile. Good morning, everybody. It's a day away from New Year's Eve. Wishing you all a happy new year. Let's put the good, bad, and ugly of 22 aside and go in full force with lots of positivity into 2023. Let's really make ourselves priority with our health, and that includes oral health. Make sure you do your six months checkups and cleanings. Really, prevention, everyone, is the key uh, to success. We're going to move on to our last podcast of the year, and it's about nitrous oxide, also known as the laughing gas. You feel debilitating anxiety about your dental appointment. Your child needs to sit still for a long operation. You can't stop gagging when the dentist puts instruments in your mouth. All of these situations may call for the use of laughing gas to ensure a successful dental visit. But what exactly is laughing gas? What is it used for? And are there any risks associated with it? So nitrous oxide, more commonly referred to as laughing gas, is a mild sedative agent that safely and effectively manages pain and anxiety during dental treatment. The colorless and odorless nitrous oxide is mixed with oxygen and inhaled through a small mask that fits over your nose. Patients are asked to breathe normally and should feel the effects of the laughing gas within minutes. Contrary to its name, laughing gas does not necessarily make you laugh. The nitrous oxide slows down your nervous system to make you feel less inhibited. You may feel lightheaded, tingly, or even heaviness in your arm or legs. Ultimately, you should be calm and comfortable throughout the procedure. You might even giggle a time or two. What are the benefits of laughing gas? Dentists choose nitrous oxide because it is safe and effective method for sedation. The laughing gas works quickly to relax patients and the effects wear off quickly by breathing pure oxygen through a mask. Plus, the nitrous oxide does not put you to sleep so you can hear and respond to any of the dentist's questions or instructions. Any side effects of laughing gas? Most patients do not experience adverse reactions to laughing gas. However, they can occur if the nitrous oxide levels rise too high or if the amount being given and inhaled quickly changes. The California Dental Association, the CDA, lists several side effects including headaches, shivering, excessive sweating, nausea or vomiting, and sleepiness. After the nitrous oxide is turned off, patients need to receive oxygen for at least five minutes to avoid headaches. The oxygen purges the remaining gas from the lungs while helping the patient become more alert and awake. Patients can also help prevent nausea or vomiting by eating lightly before the procedure and avoiding a big meal for up to three hours afterwards. What is laughing gas used for? The American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry recommends the use of nitrous oxide for indications of patients who are fearful, anxious, or uncooperative, patients with specific health care needs, patients with gag reflexes that interfere with dental care, patients who do not respond adequately to local anesthesia, younger patients who must undergo lengthy dental procedures. Nitrous oxide for children. Is nitrous oxide equally safe for kids? Again, the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry states that laughing gas is considered generally acceptable to children and can be titrated easily. Many children show enthusiasm for using the gas and report feeling a tingling or warming sensation. The laughing gas can help expedite procedures that are not particularly uncomfortable but require the child not to move for extended periods. However, some children may experience nausea or have difficulty wearing the mask. 
Discuss options for sedation with your child's dentist when planning dental treatments. Who shouldn't use laughing gas? While nitrous oxide is considered a safe and effective sedative, it might not be the right choice for you. The AAPD lists several risk factors for using laughing gas. Tell your dentist if you have any of the following conditions. Currently in the first trimester of pregnancy, a history of respiratory illnesses like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, a vitamin B12 deficiency, a history of substance abuse, an enzyme condition, a history of mental health conditions. Laughing gas can be a useful tool for easing anxiety and pain during dental procedures. If you think you might benefit from using nitrous oxide for your next appointment or operation, talk to your dentist about available options. Like always, any questions or concerns or further explanations needed, please reach out to Ask Dr. Layla. Wishing you all an amazing day ahead and talk to you next week. Bye.